Hello, Tactical Cowboy here, and it's Sunday gun day here. It's also a bit cloudy. I don't think we'll get rain. It's not in the forecast, but I'm going to try to speed this along just in case. Uh, today, what I have for y'all is the Generation 1 kel Sub-2000. It is a 40 Smith & Wesson, and today I'm shooting 180 grain full metal jacket from LAX. She's very thirsty. She loves to drink. Okay, well, like I said, I am going to try to hurry this up in case we were to get wet. Uh, just for y'all to know that I am working on getting a mic for my GoPro so y'all can hear me without this wind. Uh, I may have to re-record this indoors, but we'll see how this goes. All right, let's uh, have some fun. It's on my to-do list to mark out the yardage, but 
until that happens, I'm just picking a distance and going with it. So from about yay far. Didn't quite get it. There we go. Not very tactical. And click. I think I'll run one more magazine through it and call it a day. The way I do my videos right now is just have different angles, stitch them together, so you'll see me shooting multiple angles but it's the same same magazine that i was shooting from the previous angle so my videos will be a little lengthy because of that uh but until i figure out how to say add or uh merge the two angles together then uh i'll just have to keep stitching them together so that one angle plays and the next one follows so so I'll run this last magazine, should be 15 rounds, and I'll shoot these plates again. So, I bought this rifle right around Christmas 2013. I uh, settled on the 40. This is the only 40 caliber that I own. Uh, my dad doesn't even own a 40 caliber. Uh, I settled on it because it had the Glock mags and I just couldn't find the 9mm version. Uh, so I bought it off a of Kentucky, well, Kentucky gun shop. Uh, they shipped it to my local FFL and by local I mean back home. I was stationed in Missouri and I was planning on coming home for Christmas, but that didn't work out. So I had to write a letter out and mail it to my dad and saying that I gave him ownership of this rifle so that he could go pick it up. Uh, one thing I don't like about it is I have this extended buttstock. Just give me a little bit more, about 
another inch. Uh, but you have to get real low on your iron sights. And without that, it's just not as comfortable. And it's still not very comfortable. I do want to get the Generation 2. And I'll probably get the MMP mag version, 9mm. Uh, MMP 9 is my carry gun. Let's see, what else? I haven't been around it a whole lot. Like I said, I just got home from the active duty in May. It is mid July. It's not even mid July yet. I got home mid May. Uh, so, whenever I get this rifle out, and then I have to kind of look at it to figure out how to uncollapse it. Because in the collapse position, then, you know, I just had to look at it, but you push this little switch here forward and it releases it. Then you lock it up and she's ready to fire. It does not have a uh, last round bolt hold open. It's no big deal. It's a, for me, it's just a plinker. A lot of people would use this rifle for a, for a hunting rifle. Or, sorry, not a hunting, but a camping rifle. Uh, a truck gun. To something to keep nearby for whenever crap goes down, you know. It has been reliable. I know I've never cleaned it. Like I haven't been around it. And whenever I am home, cleaning my guns isn't at the top of my priority list. But now that I'm home, I need to give her a good scrubbing. Well, okay, y'all. I know I had fun. I thank y'all for watching. Uh, please subscribe. More videos coming, I promise. Just keep a lookout for them. Thank y'all.